So a little video for a little knife. This is a, a Rough Rider um, Tennessee toothpick in green bone. So, <clears throat> yep, it looks, well, you, it's hard to tell what size it is from there, but let me just give you some size comparators. There's a little Swiss Army SD. The well, it's not the classic SD, it's actually the Jet Setter, but it's the same size as the classic SD. And there is a 93mm Alox. You can see that although there's some length to that blade, overall it's just a titchy tiny little knife. Um, my other little comparator, which I always think of as a really small knife. Again, similar in terms of length, but in terms of actual you know, heft in the hand, the Rough Rider is tiny. Now, the last knife I reviewed, the last knife I filmed a review from, I mean, I don't know which order they'll go out in, was this. Now, I think you can get pretty much 40 of these little bad boys for that one big bad boy. However, it's tiny, it's inoffensive, it's fit and finish is remarkably good. The, the only thing that's not great is the fit of the blade to the back spring there. But there's no play in it, you know, it's absolutely solid. You can bend it, but you can bend the whole thing, just. Um, but there's no, there's no play in it, there's no four and a half play in it, it's just a good solid little well-made little knife. It's just really, just really small. And of course being Rough Rider and um, being made in China and it's made of, what do they call it? I can get the focus. Too small to get the focus. 440 razor sharp steel. So, mm. but it did actually come sharp. I mean, it did come very sharp, which is, you know, you can spend two or three times the price and get a Sheffield made knife that comes blunt. Um, but these do, come, these do come sharp. It's my, I think I've got about four Rough Riders. I'm not a Rough Rider collector. I just pick up the odd one to fill in a gap somewhere. But anyway, this is a nice little knife. It's quite fun. You can put it in your pocket. No one's ever going to get scared of it, but it'll still open a letter. I don't, wanna, I don't know if you want to cut up loads of boxes with it, but you can open a letter with it. You can slip a string on a parcel. Um, anything at all like that, anything that requires sharpness, it is really like having a little scalpel in your pocket. Um, it's not, uh, you're not going to butcher any game with it, but it is what it is. It does what it does. It's got a little shield on the side of it. So the fit and finish is remarkably good. It really is for something so cheap. Um, I say eight pounds, ten dollars. Uh, now granted you could get a Ganzo. You probably get a Ganzo that's uh, significantly better, or um, you know you can get a this this little clone was eight pounds from um, Ali AliExpress, uh, but you know that's a rip off. It's a clone. Who knows what it's made of? Whatever. There's genuine work gone into this. It's good, just genuinely, you know, polished and sanded and shaped. And that has to be done by hand. It's not a job that can be done. It's not a job you can program a computer to just do for you. Uh, well, it probably is nowadays, but it isn't. These are done by hand. It's a traditional uh, five pin design. Two pins hold on the scales. Uh, pin here, which is the pivot for the back spring and a pin at each end to hold it all together. Um, the one up here being for the pivot of the blade, obviously. Now, you can't see the pins in the um, in the bolsters, and you can't feel the pins in the the handles. Nice green uh, green bone. Anyway, lovely little knife. Lots of not much very much more to say about it than that. Other than um, it's very nice, and it's a Rough Rider. Picked up from Heine Haynes. I kind of threw it in the bag when I was picking up a couple of more expensive things. Um, uh, just to sort of to see what it would look like and it looks very nice okay thank you very much bye